Oh, hi everyone. Donut here. Didn't see you there. I'm just on Twitter arguing with congressmen again. Wouldn't you know it? Another congressman doesn't know dick about firearms. The only reason someone needs to own an assault weapon is for death and destruction. An AR-15 leaves a wound the size of a grapefruit and shatters organs. That's a weapon of destruction. Guys, please do me a favor. Head on over to fighthr127.com. It's on the uh, firearmspolicy.org website. That's the bill where they're trying to take away your ARs. So go check it out if you don't want to give up your ARs. Hi, everyone. Donut here. I've got a shooting today, a crazy shooting with Officer Leroy Jenkins. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Guess what? Florida man is back at it again. He's doing all sorts of crazy stuff again, but not the funny crazy stuff like Florida man caught on camera licking doorbell. Or Florida man fights off coyote with coffee cup. I smashed him. Came at my legs first. I smashed him in the side of the head with the cup. Or Florida man accused of intentionally pressure washing his neighbor. Or Florida man attacked by a crazy squirrel gone nuts. It was raised by a neighbor. Video of this too. Those are actually from a compilation that I made a couple of years ago. I'll make sure to put that video in the description below. This video is sponsored by Aura. Little known fact about me, I'm kind of obsessed with cybersecurity stories. I think hackers are cool as shit when they're not stealing my personal information and selling it on the dark web. It makes me want to go find my friend, Mr. Chippy and do a whole Fargo. Well, guess what? I don't have to get Mr. Chippy at all because I have Aura. Aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. You might have one of these services already, but if you don't have all the tools, it's like locking the front door, but leaving the back door wide open. Another really cool feature of Aura is it monitors the dark web for your emails, passwords, and social security numbers and sends you alerts when it finds them. I've only been using Aura for a short amount of time and they've already found some of my information on the dark web. Nice. Although Mr. Chippy is very hungry now, at least my personal information isn't on the dark web alongside all the human traffickers and heroin. If someone is stealing your personal information and putting it on the dark web or any other shady stuff is happening to you on the internet or is monitoring everything and they'll send alerts to your phone. It's pretty rad. They have all these cool features bundled together, including a virtual private network. And you can get two free weeks of Aura by going to Aura.com slash donut. On to the video. Like I said, Florida man hasn't been up to all the funny stuff like that. He's been up to the nefarious stuff that gets you shot in the throat by police officers with really cool red dots on their gun. <laughs> Hey, don't feel bad for Florida man in this incident. He kind of did this to himself by murdering his father and then leading police on a high-speed chase while shooting at them in a crowded residential neighborhood. Definitely don't feel bad for Florida man. Sunday, July 10th, Florida. Lake County Sheriff's Department received calls from the 18-year-old suspect's mother who stated she was concerned about an argument the suspect had with his dad. What had happened was is the suspect's mom was on the phone with the suspect's dad. The suspect was with his father and they were were arguing over some truck keys because he wanted to use the truck and his dad said no. During the phone call, mom hears the gunshot and the line hangs up. You know what kind of call that is? Yep, domestic violence. Very dangerous. Lots of shooty shoots with police stem from domestic violence. There's anger, jealousy, and emotions flying all over the place and then the police have to show up and babysit you and figure out your problems for you because you can't act like a grown fucking adult. That's like 90% of policing. That and paperwork. Fuck paperwork. Deputies went to the house and found no one there, but they did find some clues in the house. What the deputies saw was a bloody shirt, shell casings from a gun, and a running shower. These are some pretty solid clues after the mother heard gunshots and then the line went dead and they can't find the dad now. Reports state he ended up dumping the body in a swamp. The next day, deputies spot the truck the suspect could be in and initiated a traffic stop. Our suspect did not want to pull over, so a high-speed chase took place. Shortly into the chase, the suspect leans out of his truck and starts shooting at police. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired, Lake! Shots fired! They chase him for a while before the suspect crashes into a building. One of the officers stops a good 40 yards from the suspect, and the other officer sideswipes his partner and Leroy Jenkins right into the suspect's vehicle. Copy, 
The suspect, now pinned inside of his truck, pulls out a gun and starts shooting at Officer Leroy Jenkins, who immediately returns fire through his own windshield. <laughs> Officer Jenkins fires a couple shots out of his own windshield, bells, changes magazines, fires a couple more shots, changes magazines again, picks up his first magazine he dropped, pops it in, then covers the suspect again, who is now ducked down inside of the truck. At the same time, the deputy who just got sideswiped by Officer Leroy Jenkins unloads through the back windshield at the suspect, reloads, mag dumps again, reloads, then sees the suspect has crawled out onto his stomach. The suspect tosses his gun away and decides he don't want that smoke. Another officer had pulled up and was covering the truck and almost busted his ass. He didn't fire any shots. The suspect, who probably killed his father, dumped the body, led police on a high-speed chase, and tried to kill police, turns into a whiny little bitch after they shoot him five or six times. He actually survived and was charged with three counts of attempted murder on a police officer, first degree murder for killing his pops, shooting out of his car during a high speed chase, and of course, speeding and eluding. If you pay attention to the body camera, you can see that another very brutal incident took place only a couple feet away from the shooting. A guy wrecked the shit out of his moped. Well, that's all I got for you fine people today. Remember to go over to DonutOperator.com to get some super sick merch or to find my second channel, Operation Donut. I've been putting a lot of content on there. It's pretty super sweet. So that's all I have for you guys today. Please have a fantastic day. Hacker.